So blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and he's the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort. He is the Father of these things. He birthed them, which is which is insane. But then notice the crux of it, verse 4. Who comforts us in all of our conflict and conspiracy, in our yeah. tribulation, that we might be able to comfort those that are in any trouble. Isn't it interesting that the text doesn't say who comforts us that are comfortable? The text says mm -hmm. comforts those that have been comforted. So in order to be comforted, guys, you have to know what it feels like to be uncomfortable. So that's why the conflict and the conspiracy, and that's why you're asking God, why did you write this chapter? Because I'm trying to bring the comfort. You have to know what it feels like to be comforted, but you got to go through some stuff. Tucker, I mean, what do you say? Look at verse seven. Our hope is for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you also share in our comfort. Mm, yep. we're, 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 we're literally with Jesus. We're all in this together because we've all we're all going to walk in each other's shoes, and that way we can all lean each lean on each other through these hard times. Because 